Hi everyone, uh, Scrappy Kathy here with another um, Happy Christina Day. The ninth of every month, we uh, those of us who are in the uh, lucky enough to be in the inner circle, subscribers to her kits and members uh, and participants in her public Facebook page. Um, we celebrate everything that she means to us. So I'm going to do a Calvin Ball laden um, layout, and it's going to be as monochromatic as I'm capable of making. I have a bowl of pink points here. It's going to be pink. Um, I have various... Um, bits of kits from Christina. I have stencils that I'm going to be using uh, from a Vicki Booten uh, themed kit she gave to me. I'm going to be using these watercolors that we got at the Rediscover Your Stash Secret Not Secret uh, retreat last year, a year ago today actually, we were there. Um, it's a great little uh, take it with you on the go kind of kit. And I'm going to be using the stamp of, um, of the architectural stamp of books. Books are a requirement in the, um, or is not a requirement, just a rule that you can choose to obey or not in Calvin Ball. And um, I've got ephemera from a boy themed kit and it's got this camera and that's one of the rules that was added today and I've got some clear stickers that I'll probably use. Um, let me kind of catch you up on what I've done so far. I needed a tag so I found a just a piece of um, a, kind of a pink block of ephemera and I punched a hole in it, ran some pink twine, cut it off, stapled it to the back of my journaling block, and I cut a tiny, uh, I'll never find it in the bowl until I get down to it. I cut a tiny snowflake. That's another of the um, points that was added, or, or rules that was added today. So I've done that. There's my punch. I don't need that anymore, I don't think. And I'm layering it all. I've, I've backed my photos with this uh, Paige Evans paper. When I, I punch a hole, I usually leave enough so that I can mat a photo over it and don't lose that, the use of that paper. And I've got a couple um, uh, photos of the kids from early on when we'd moved to Georgia. And uh, the story in here's the you know, reasons we retired, reasons we moved to Georgia, and the kids are the reasons. Reasons we built the pool, bought the cottage, moved to the basement, love to reminisce, and reasons why I love this hobby. I get to relive all those sweet moments when the kids weren't, um, I don't know, let's say teenagers. And uh, so James is absolutely freaking out because Ava went with a couple friends to the mall on her own yesterday and it, it's you know she's his youngest and he's <laughs> just not sure what to make of all of that so I'm kind of starting my background for all of this and what set the color scheme is this incredible piece of Alexandra Rinke paper and it is it's got German, I suppose, a uh, script that's gorgeous uh, in kind of a brownish grayish color um, up here at the top on the white part. And then um, in white and, and large over this pink painty area and their paint, you know, spills all over. So I've got some ink, some Heidi Swap color shine that is kind of that same color. And just in case my, I wouldn't get points for um, some pre-done, although I think I probably would, I thought I'd just add a few of my own sprinkles there. Let me make sure I have the top to this. I'm also, I, I, I'm 
I'm not quite sure. I've got a variety of pink elements in here, including this birdhouse, which came from a, a kit that Christina brought to Scrap Happy a uh, family reunion in Denver where she was a guest um, instructor. And this is one of the few sticker pieces I have left from that set. And it's not exactly the right color pink and we don't get points for houses anymore. But I wanted to include it because it came from Christina. And so I'm gonna kinda put that there. Now I'm gonna stop telling stories about things and actually try to get something done. What I want to do here with this paper is maybe divide it, divide the page somewhat like this with these horizontal elements, uh, make something of a grid where I have a block with that and a block with this and then a block with this and then a bunch of embellishments all, you know, somewhat you know, in this corner uh, and in this corner, maybe up here and kind of around here and, and down in this corner. Just trying to leave as much of this showing as possible, although I'm probably going to cover it. So uh, let me put this horizontal piece together and here's where I'm gonna pull my stapler out again. I love using staples. I'm trying to get them to uh, add those as uh, rules in Calvin Ball so that I can do that. Th there's a requirement for striped paper and one for geometric pattern paper. And I'm considering this, um, this pink one to be geometric. Uh, one for wood grain. So I'm going to kind of overlap that there. Do a couple staples here. And then I'm going to tuck this little, this is just a little bit of, um, of a doily. From a, it's the frame of a square doily that I got from Christine in a kit way back when. I'm going to staple that in right here. And I will probably put some sort of an embellishment uh, there. I'm going to put this flat down so that it kind of provides a base for, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I think I want it. Um, we'll do that. Okay. So I've got that. I want to add foam to the back. I don't need any of that now. Add foam to the back of the photos. This is probably enough foam to go behind that one. So I'll cut a block from here. Maybe there. Okay. Take that across there, do this, and get it in place. I'm going to do the stenciling and the watercoloring later. I say that, and I, I, I take back some of what I just said. I'm going to kind of tuck this. I don't really, I really don't want to do that. I'm going to overlap it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to take back something. I may put this out here and then this here so that I can stamp here and watercolor the stamps over the white. At one point, before they added watercolor, I was still going to use this stamp of these, uh, this is a Tim Holtz uh, architectural stamp of books, I was going to stamp it over this pink, so all the books would be pink. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is stamp it here, and in a, in that spot, and I'm going to kind of move my 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp it there and watercolor it in with um, pink and then I'll, on my little palette there, I'll add some orange or blue or something to the pink so that I end up having um, different colors of pink in the in the mix there. I, I want that torn it these torn edges to show okay so just to give me the idea of balance I'm gonna go for let me get this definitely too long cut that out this is the um, well Actually, let's rethink. Do I want that block there? I, I do, I do. I was gonna insert it. That's really why I stapled the tag onto there. I was gonna kind of slide it back behind there and make it hidden journaling, but I'm gonna let it stay out front and I, I'll need to figure out where to put my title um, I'm going to kind of do this out over here. Okay, and this is here, and there room, there's room for embellishing around there and so forth. So we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Before we go too much farther, I'm going to go ahead and do the stamping. And I normally would do this on my Misty. But I'm gonna actually take a chance that this, and you can see I'm, I'm kind of smudging the ink and that's actually okay. That's why I did it early. I, um, it, this is the, the whole kind of tableau there, if you will, is a, um, is a bit messy. Okay, let me go here. Okay, came out just fine. I'm gonna put that aside. Let me wipe that off actually. Okay, off to the side to be put away later. Okay, now let me get my watercolors and do, I'm hoping that this is very quick. Um, there's a kind of a little palette right here. Let me squeeze a little water there. Okay, and I'll just do, I'll see how pink that really is. Do that. And I like, I actually, depending on how much black it picks up, this may be the only color I need to use. I'm going to add a little bit of orange to it here for this next book. And I'll go orange again for this one. Again, as you can see, I'm not doing much not letting, you know, being taken away by the, uh, the accuracy of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have a little more of the orange and yellow maybe for the pages. Not covering up the white entirely. Okay, let me go back 
and kind of add some more pink because I don't want to get away from my monochromatic theme here and I didn't want it all look alike pink. Okay, I'm not gonna fuss with that anymore. I say that as I reload my brush. Okay, close enough. I'm gonna put this away and I'll clean my brush later before I put that away. Okay, now I'm going to do, well, actually at the very end, I'm going to do the, um, I'll do the stenciling. Let me put this little stamps over here so that I remember <laughs> that I have that to do. Now, I'm going to start adding in uh, Calvin Ball points. One of the points, one of the rules is, uh, for points is to use photo corners. And I have these fabric photo corners that I like a lot and thought because of the way that this picture is, this um, these photo corners work. What I'm gonna have to do, there's some adhesive underneath there, but I'm going to add a pop dot because if you remember I uh, elevated that. I see it's stuck already to the paper. Well, you know, if it wants to stick that way, that's fine. Those corners can be down, even though I know the, uh, I know it's raised. Let me, I've never tried to put one of these little covers back on a pop dot. Okay, I've got that there. Um, let's do put the title on. And I'm going to be layering white on white as I do that. Um, the title is going to be The Reasons Why. So I'm going to do the word reasons in this um, pink color. It's kind of a... Um, Oh, I'd already cut that or torn it, I guess. It's kind of a fabric. Um, let's see. I'm going to stick it on here knowing I have to go back. And what I want to do the... the uh, title near the stack of books because it's like you might be looking in the book for the reasons or you might find the reasons in the book. Kind of a stretch I'm sure but that's what I thought of when I decided to do this. Okay, I'm going to put that aside and I'll go with my white ones. I've got a T, my last T in the white color. And the reason I'm, <laughs> the reason I'm doing the whole The Reasons Why is that's a song title and that's another of the rules. So I get a point for doing that. And I have the letters in these alphabets. And we get a point also for um, multicolor titles. So I've got white and pink here and that should get me that point, the reasons, and then I'll do, that's not straight, but does it really matter? It doesn't matter until I put the H on, 
straight. Okay, and if it's not straight, when I do my inspection <laughs> and take the, um, the still photo, I'll fix it. Okay, so there is my start. Now we go into uh, adding points. And I'll, like I said, I will use this stencil. I'm probably going to use some of the smaller bits. I kind of like this little collection of dots, and if I had some glittery dots over here, depending on what uh, embellishments I have there, I'll, you know, tuck the stencil under. And I'm going to use this um, bubblegum Bow Bunny glitter paste, and I don't want it to be a lot uh, on there. So, one of the first things I want to put on here is this little heart. It's wood veneer, and I used some Nouveau drops to make it kind of, um, let me see if I can show you that up close. It's kind of a shiny, puffy finish on top, and I shouldn't use my tweezers because that actually made a little dent in it. So I want to put this little heart right here at the end of the, um, using my Nouveau adhesive, and I'm getting towards the end of the bottle, so it's a little harder to, for it to come out, but it's still reliable. Okay, and I kind of tuck it A little bit under that, make it come down below. Okay, so there it's not trying to bridge the two uh, thicknesses there. Okay, I need a hedgehog, and I found this little hedgehog on a, a wonderful pattern paper from uh, Happy Cake Day by Pebbles, which came in a Mind the Scrap kit, and I'm sure Emma won't mind if I'm adding uh, one of her hedgehogs to a page about Christina, because Christina participates in some of Emma's stuff, too. I thought I'd tuck this down or maybe kind of have it up here in the main part. I, I, that's more red, but that middle part is kinda, kinda pinkish. And I, I usually hide the hedgehogs, but because this is a page about kids, I, I'm taking the liberty to use a lot of kid-themed items kind of more up front than I might otherwise do. So that's gonna go there and then I'll tuck some smaller things under it. Um, there's a requirement for, or there's a rule for um, shamrocks. And I, I thought if I use, do I wanna use this here or up here? I hate to cover the greenery that's there. Maybe I do it this way. That's okay. That's good for me. And I'll put a, a pop dot to kind of let it come down. I don't, well, I'm covering the, how about I do it this way? And then maybe I do something like the, this guy maybe over here. I'll do that. Just kind of tuck it under, and there's actually a um, something I'm going to use. It's mulberry paper, and that was a rule <laughs> yesterday, and 
actually it was ruled for a couple days, and the first couple days I thought they were talking about a color of paper, like a mulberry kind of a reddish purple, plumish kind of color, and it's actually talking about a type of paper. And I actually had some that I got um, at a store that I was at with Christina in Denver um, at that Scrap Happy retreat. I'm gonna just kinda tuck that under there. That's the right pink, and you can still see the shamrock, so that's good. Let's see where I'm gonna put the little birdhouse now. I, I want it, I don't want it too close to this because it's, it's not exactly right. Al although it, there, you can see there's a little brownish in this lower part. I stuck it on here thinking it would be easy to peel off and I think I may leave some of it behind actually. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to use, I'm going to cut it in half, um, and I'll kind of stick that there. The reason I'm, uh, I kind of feel it isn't inappropriate right here is that this was down in, this picture was taken in Houston, this one was in Georgia, so that's kind of what's, that's home now. So there is a requirement for a rule for flamingo, and I thought the flamingo might be over here kind of counting up the reasons. I love overlapping when I use a flamingo. I like to have his beak overlapping um, a photo or something else. So let me put his foot between the five and the six. His beak is going to cover the one. Okay, so he's raised up, and I can layer some other things under him. Let's get these things on. There's a date stamp, and I've already set the date stamp. There's a rule for date stamps. I've already set the date stamp for the, the date of this photo, and I'm going to... Maybe... It's I, my date stamp doesn't go uh, any earlier than 2010. So I have to change, I'm using 2018, this was in 2008, so I'll change that one to a zero. And I'm gonna do it kind of like here. And I use it a few times because I messed up the first and that's okay. Let me take my black pen and go change that, the one that you can see. I'll change it to zero, so 2008. So my date stamp has been done. My other stamping has been done. Um, I have some sequins here that were from a, it was uh, done especially for Redefined Creative by Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I'd kind of like to use some of those for accents. Um, but again, that'll be kind of towards the end after I've done this glitter, and we see if I think that glitter might be enough. Okay, washi tape requirement. Oh, <laughs> before I do washi tape, I love this. It's from a, um, a Chamel field trip um, uh, six by six pad that I got in a kit from Christina. And I just wanted a tiny bit of this to show. I'm not quite sure. I think it might be cute. And it, it I, I, I'd like it kind of tucked under something else. Okay, let me just cut it a lot shorter. It doesn't fit with the scheme, although there is a pink. Um, I just thought it was pretty, and it's, it seems uh, kid-like, so it seems like it would be kind of cool on this page. 
Let me just do that. And it kind of covers up some of the date stamp, and that's okay. I'll save that. I've got this, uh, there's a citrus fruit requirement or, or rule, and I have, and there's an acetate rule. So this is an acetate orange. And orange doesn't fit with my color scheme, but if I tuck it into this floral cluster up here, this embellishment cluster, it'll peek out enough for you to see that it's an orange. It adds some greenery to the, the cluster, do I want it here? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's my orange. And it's far enough away from here that it doesn't uh, look too much like, a, uh, like it doesn't belong. There's a frame rule and I've got this little, uh, it's like um, a photo slide frame, and I'm going to tuck it in. I keep looking at the stack of books and I wanna tuck something in there. I'm actually going to maybe set this, I'm gonna put this, glue it down right beside that kind of overlapping the um, that center thing, and then I can group some tiny embellishments inside there. Okay, I've got washi tape. I'm not sure what that is. I've got a duck, and even though we're done with ducks. We're not using, uh, duck. the duck rule has been removed. I thought the duck would be a good, um, when I do monochromatic layouts, I like to have punches of other colors. And this yellow just kind of seems like it, it's kind of cute. And I can do it where it's just, having trouble layering it under there, but let it kind of break the lines of that, uh, that little frame there. Okay, so that's there. There is a paper clip rule, and I've got this pink one, um, and it's, a dog or a cat, not sure, I can't really tell. There's not a lot of detail there. That's from the um, Paige Evans Horizon line. But I need a heart. Uh, there's a heart rule. So I thought I'd use one up here as well. And I thought I'd use the small heart. And put that down, okay. So those are on there. I have my heart and my paper clip. I've got a tiny snowflake here that I cut out of the bottom of that, uh, what was left off the bottom of that uh, block that I made the tag out of. Where do I wanna put the snowflake? I'm gonna put the snowflake someplace where it, uh, well, why don't I do that? And it talks about moving to Georgia, and there's certainly more snow in Georgia than there is in Texas. So, you know, if you need to explain things, that's a way to explain <laughs> things. I have a, this little, uh, there's a toadstool rule, and it's still there. I thought I'd use this toadstool again up here by the, do I wanna have it tucked in? There we go. I can have the duck overlooking the toadstool. That's kind of cute actually. Um, there is a star rule, oh, there's a butterfly and a vellum and gold foil and fussy cutting. Those are four rules. 
let's see, butterfly, gold foil, fussy cutting, vellum. Okay, so this is, this is all those rules. This, this butterfly is worth four points on this layout. Actually, I fussy cut the duck, so, and I fussy cut the, the hedgehog. Let me kind of fold that back and put that there. My E is crooked, so I need to straighten that out. I love foam letters because they stick so much better than uh, chip, and they come off fairly easily. I may fix that again. I found this little pink thing in a, uh, on a chipboard sheet that I was almost finished with, so I thought I'd, it says that. It's, I think it's Vicki Booten. Uh, it says that, and I, I thought it was appropriate because we're talking about the reasons I did it, and, and this says that, going to movies with those kids. Okay, there's an enamel dot rule, and where can I use some enamel dots? Maybe right down here underneath this, um, this journaling block. Okay, I've lost a dot. I'm sorry, I'm having, a, I have a, a tool that does this better, but I've had luck recently using my tweezers, and this just isn't one of those days. Um, of course, when I, when it works with tweezers, that's, um, it's always off camera when it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so my enamel dots are there. I've got that point. Um, there is a rule for puffy stickers and I've got this uh, lost and found that's a couple colors of pink um, from a sticker set that Christina sent with a, um, with a cut file kit from the, I subscribed to the Creative Cuts Club and that was in there. There is a rule for having a map and a rule for having a crown. So I cut a crown out of map paper and I can maybe tuck this in um, over here, kind of sticking off the um, the frame. My glue dries clear and matte, so you won't be able to see that I have a glob of it there. I have a, there's a star requirement, and I have this little pink star charm. So I thought it would be cute hanging somewhere. It could hang from under there, I could tuck this under that layer, but I think I'm not going to do that. Let me tuck it under this photo. That's what I'll do. I will take this off and I'll actually glue it on rather than letting it dangle like a charm. I love when things dangle like charms but that may not be appropriate on this layout. Just, and that for no particular reason, just because I don't have a, a good place to do it. Let me kinda do that. 
that. That's not actually working very well. Tell you what I need to do. Because when I put the the um, staples in, it I actually created something of a pleat <laughs> in the in these papers. Things are kind of coming out there because I hadn't stapled that down. Okay, so that's glued down now. The charm will actually, and I may let it overlap the photo because I'm over a few layers. Well, I didn't want to do that, did I? Okay, let's do, uh, I'm gonna maybe put it here. It's a different color pink. Okay, tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> let's go back, let's rethink this whole thing. I'm gonna put it down here and that'll make it something of a, tri a trio of uh, embellishments down here that are all kind of similar colors of pink. So I'll put that there. You know, if we could get a metallic or a metal rule, that would have a, a couple points associated with it. I had cut this little tiny lemon, but I found the acetate orange, and I found some we were made for this. This is a cute little word strip. And I can kind of do it like that. And then I remember that I need this camera. And I thought I could cut it in half and tuck it under there, let me do that. This, and I could kind of, to fill this space, I'll do it at something of an angle, but so that this little flash will show. Not gonna use, okay, do have to use this balloon. I'm going to, Fussy cut it. This is from some planner stickers. Uh, one of the stickers actually has a dozen or so hot air balloons. And sometimes when I just really don't want the balloons to stand out, I had lots. I have lots of party balloons from birthday kits, and even some nice, large, colorful. Um, hot air balloons, but I don't, in this case, I don't necessarily need the hot air balloon to be a featured part. So I'm gonna let it kind of stick out here. And because it has the blue um, border around it, the blue background, it kind of shows against that white. Okay, I think in here, I should also have some other little things. There is a rainbow, and it's in, it's also, it's in some unusual colors. It's from the, um, gosh, what's that collection? Lucky, or Again and Again by Pink Paisley. And I thought I might... I'm gonna stick it under there. That works. Makes that kind of a, a full cluster there. There is a label rule, and this is the inside of this little frame. It's um, a uh, cocoa vanilla happiness, maybe, uh, one of their uh, collections. Um, I thought I'd use it. There, I need three things here. I can always add a sequin there. I could do it. Uh, I've got the, those guys there. Don't really want to do anything there. Maybe 
kind of sticking right up here. So again, going to cut it in half, and that makes two labels. So I'll kind of stick a little bit of glue on it and tuck it in right there, where it just adds a little bit of, uh, just a, a kind of a layer of, of color and interest. I've got a tiny ice cream cone here. Again, ice cream is one of the points that was taken away, but I cut this little tiny ice cream cone. It's kind of glittery, and I want to use it. I just won't get any points because I, if I don't use it, I truly will lose it. I'll misplace it, and um, so it could maybe go where it's sticking out like that on top of that label. Kind of tuck it under there. Okay, because I'm sure at this meal there was some ice cream involved. So I've got some washi tape. This one says fun, but you almost have to use the full uh, width of it to, to use it. And I'd prefer to rip it. And that's a trick that Christina taught me at that Scrap Happy reunion. Um, it, it kind of adds that torn interest. Um, and it gives you a thin piece and you get kind of the abstraction. I'm not sure what the word is. It takes a print that's very precise and makes it a bit abstract because you can't see all of it because you've just torn it. So I'm going to tuck it under the photo and let it overlap this um, wood grain. Okay, got it. Now, I have to stitch, <laughs> and I've got my blunt tip needle. I don't do stitching as a rule because I, uh, I take blood thinners, and I really just don't like bleeding on my layouts. That's just not a good look. Uh, even when it calls for ink splatters or paint splatters, I'm sure they don't mean blood splatters. So what I'm going to do is, is punch some holes here. I've got my little pad. It's an Amy Tangerine um, pad that lets me punch holes. I'll punch some holes, a couple holes on this side and a couple holes on this side, and I'll just do a couple stitches that look like I've stitched that piece of paper on. And I'm sure it's excruciating for you to watch someone stitching on camera, which is why I'm not gonna do a lot of it. Um, and, and this is enough to satisfy that rule. I actually have a... Um, a digital, uh, a digital collection that has uh, several digital collections that have stitching in both white and black. And what I can do is take the um, the whatever cardstock or uh, pattern paper I'm using as a background and just run it through my printer. I have a 12 by 12 printer and print the stitching on, and that's, um, it looks better <laughs> than any stitching I would do with my machine or otherwise. I need some washi tape to hold this thread back here. So let me do that. I may have to glue that. That's not the stickiest washi tape. Okay, so I've got that there. I think this qualifies as a monochromatic page. Let's add the glittery stuff. I'm going to kind of 
take this and do some of these little plus signs through here. Just some kind of trying to press some of this through. It's not dried out, which is cool. Okay, that works. Oh, it got over onto that, which maybe wasn't what I intended. I'm gonna take this for this up here at the other corner, and I'm almost done, so I'm gonna wash that um, as soon as I'm finished filming. I know you were concerned about that. I know you were worried about whether I was gonna actually get that washed. I don't wanna use well, let's do this. That's not, um, I don't have a whole lot on my palette knife, but I do want to fill in the holes that I touch. Okay. We'll go with that. Let me do these, this little, little guy down here, and I will try to do the whole thing. It's kind of wanting to dry out. Sadly, I had to throw away a couple bottles. They were almost fully used, but they've been opened and closed so much that they dried out kind of along the way. Okay, that works. I'm going to call that done. Um, I will not go back and add sequins. I'm thinking this is good. Uh, as it is, I may go back and do some uh, pink marker to make this, um, a pink watercolor marker to make this less orange. Um, it's good. I kind of have that brownish color up in here and this sort of orangey flower, but I want to make that, if it's going to be orange, it needs to be a little bit um pinker orange or darker brown or orange. Okay, so I've, I have not uh, been counting points as I went along, but you, I have my list here. It'll be easy to tick those off because I think I went through and, and added just about everything I needed. I may add a, um, oh, I do have, let's go back. I do have another word strip, a uh, chipboard word strip. Let me put that aside and get that cleaned in a minute. Um, it's this one says we were made for this, and it's um, a picture of that has both me and John in it. And this one says we had such a good time, and I can layer that directly on the photo because there's nothing but some uh, napkins there that show that we were at Rainforest Cafe in Galveston, right on the seawall. And I'm hoping we're going to, um, going with Ava, James and Ava and John and I are going to uh, Houston for, um, yeah, do I want, that? you're the best there. No, I don't. I think I'm done. I could sit and add things forever. Are there any little cool, um, Rough and tough is good. Rough and tough uh, is a, that's a, I can maybe put that right there and it can bridge the two different colors there. I've got an O Man, which I was probably not going to use. Is there a <laughs> no brain, no pain? Oh, brother, or you make me laugh. I like that. Um, and I can kind of do that. Where would I want to do that? We were made, um, I'm going to actually put it back. 
because I think I have, I have these two and this third one and then my journaling is here. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. As, as you know, I have trouble finishing. <laughs> I have trouble getting, piling everything on that I want. So um, monochromatic, pink, wood grain, washi tape, all kinds of good stuff on here. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, there'll be shorter videos, I think, after Calvin Ball. But in the meantime, this is so much fun. Bye. And happy Christina Day.